morning or good afternoon you guys at this point these are gonna be car chronicles because why every time i call y'all i'm in my car um but no it is saturday december 2nd yeah i am on my way to walmart to look for this charger But welcome back and welcome if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe bell subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload because it is vlogmas <clears throat> but we are going i have to actually go and get dog food so that's why i'm going also i wasn't able to edit the vlog so you guys didn't get no vlog yesterday um because i was going to edit when i got to work that didn't happen and here it is 12 o'clock again like i said saturdays are i mean the weekends are the worst for me because i work and i get up at 11 30 between 11 and 11 30 and then i get ready for work at four so my day in between there is kind of a blur so i'm gonna work on editing this vlog or editing that vlog so i can get that up because there's supposed to be another vlog that's going up tomorrow. So it may be, oh my gosh, a double upload, depending on how today goes. But I just wanted to call you guys, say good morning, say happy Saturday. Um, let y'all know I didn't forget to call y'all back. So we will see what this Walmart is talking about. And then I'll call y'all when I get home. Uh, if you guys have been looking for the scented blankets at Walmart, um, some of the Walmarts still have them. I have been looking for them and I couldn't find them. They have the hot cocoa and I think this is the cedar and pine. Yep. So it says that they are $19.99. I mean, 1997. So yeah, check your local Walmart if you guys are still looking for the scented throws. All right, y'all, I just came out of Walmart. They did not have the charger. Um, and that blanket, the scented blanket, it was actually $9.95. Um, I didn't get it, but it wasn't the 1997 that they had posted on the, um, the sign that was where the blankets were. So yeah, I had seen it on TikTok. Um, they had like a couple, like it was maybe about five, four or five different scents um, that they had. So yeah, if you guys are looking for them, some of the Walmarts do still have them in stock. So go ahead and grab them. They are heat activated. So like the scent is supposed to come out when you're like while you're using it. So if you go and pick it up, like you can't smell like the scent that it is. But I am not even gonna tell y'all that I'm going to post. This is kind of the situation that I kind of run into. So I am trying to stay motivated and keep vlogging, but I'm not gonna be able to probably vlog anything until Monday when I go to my storage and look for my charger for my camera i am going to run out of space on my phone i do pay for storage but with me constantly using up the space that i have on my phone it's really hard for me to it's really hard for me to vlog with my phone also because of um sorry also because there is I lost my whole train of thought but <laughs> i'm yeah i'm just trying to mentally stay in the loop it is literally december 2nd i run into this almost every year or any time that i'm trying to vlog that you know something happens or something hinders me from really vlogging so 
I'm trying to push through that feeling that whatever this is another reason um that feeling or whatever you know is is making me you know double think I mean double yeah double think or second guess myself so I don't want to get on here and be at like a real low energy or low vibration and then expel that over to you guys so that's one reason why I don't get on the camera a lot of time because my mental space just is not always there and I don't think a lot of people talk about it I get you know most people that I feel like most people that vlog or that are vlogging now you haven't seen or don't really see from scratch and I think I mentioned this in a couple clips back or in the last video or whichever um most people that you see vlogging now or that most people watch now vlogging are people that have money or that are financially you know there to be able to go out and show you um day-to-day -day things that you pretty much want to see you know shopping hauls or you know them out shopping or like Christmas shopping or Christmas uh, de decor things I'm not doing any of that really so for me I don't really have like I have to really be creative to give you guys content um, because I know you guys don't want to just sit here and listen to me talk so it's a matter of me really piecing together creative content outside of me just telling y'all that I'm going to Walmart or going to pick up JR from school or I'm on my way to work because outside of that I don't do anything else um so being a regular human being and trying to vlog content or not necessarily trying to find a niche um but I always posted like lifestyle food um and like family related content so I don't do just anything specific it's kind of just lifestyle related so when I'm not in that season per se to post or to be buying things um, I feel like I don't have much to really offer to you guys so it kind of limits me or puts me in a box to be able to pick up the camera and uh, record so I'm just trying to stay creative stay positive um, and it is the holiday season I don't think a lot of people talk about holiday depression but it's real big I suffer from seasonal and holiday depression depression across the board but it is harder during the holidays and during winter just because the winter is more gloomy, winter is more cold, um, it's not as vibrant, it's not as bright. So, I'm trying to find where these sirens are coming from before I go through this light. Hold on, yeah. So, during the winter, like I said, it's just not as moving or as active, I guess as the rest of the seasons you know it's not much going on nobody's really like at the pools nobody's really partying nobody's really hanging out with family too much um doing things that you know the summer kind of entails winter is kind of more of a laid back season um and with me already suffering or battling with spouts of um you know it's kind of lowers me a little bit and then the holiday seasons I'm very very family oriented and it's just myself and my son and I'm grateful don't get me wrong super grateful because it's always been my son and my you know it's just been us and I definitely make the best of it but I do still crave that family interaction you know decorating the tree or spending time with family just as a whole like on a day-to-day -day basis so you know families normally you know like thanksgiving i did go see my mom's side of the family for thanksgiving um for a couple of days and that was wonderful 
and then for Christmas I am planning on trying to get up to see my grandmother for Christmas and that is um, just about it but just in the like approaching steps it's really hard because um, like I said it's just myself and my son and just being used to having like big families around or you know doing things like decorating um you know the christmas tree or doing things like that and then as i said in this season that i'm in as of right now um not really purchasing things or spending money on things that i need to do a lot of those um not events um what are you called a lot of those um activities it kind of already puts you you know in another whole mindset so is that within itself on top of everything else going on i just really you know don't do well during the holidays also the holidays um without my grandfather um who has been gone since i was 16 which you never really get over a passing so even though I was super super young my grandfather and I were really really close so holidays for me are really hard um it kind of hits me harder around the Christmas season I'm getting emotional so I'm gonna get off of here um it really hits me harder during the christmas season and then he did pass in january so the holidays were really 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 hard for me growing up well i was 16 like i said i was i mean growing up yes but i was really really close to my grandfather we were literally like two peas in a pot so yeah and I don't think a lot of people voice or talk about that, especially doing Vlogmas or being a content creator or, you know, being a vlogger or being a, um, Instagram mogul or things like that. When they get on camera, their day to day. And I know a lot of people try to keep personal things out or, you know, their, real lives um just so it's separate from you know what you give to the camera but for me yes i don't overshare i do give you guys what what i want to give you but it is very hard to separate the emotional side or you know when you wake up and you don't feel like getting on camera or you get up and you don't have the funds to you know get up and put gas in your tank to go anywhere so you're just stuck in the house or <clears throat> you don't have you know the means to do the day-to-day -day things that you need to do to survive then let alone trying to pick up a camera and do the day-to-day -day things to entertain or uh, uplift or um, get on camera and you know be yourself without kind of spewing out um I don't want to say negativity because it's real life so I do want to be relatable but I also don't want to be a Debbie Downer like I don't want to get on camera and always talk about the lack or things of that nature or whatever the situation may be um so yeah I'm back at home I'm going to head upstairs. All I got was his dog food. I'm going to try and edit the vlog from yesterday and the day before yesterday. Try and get that up before I go to work today. And other than that, I'm going to go to my storage on Monday and look for the camera. So I'm not quite sure what footage I'm going to have in between now and Monday. Like I said, it is Saturday. Um... And I don't plan on doing anything tomorrow because I have to also work tomorrow. So it'll be the same kind of regimen tomorrow 
but I don't have any errands or anything to run if I'm not mistaken. As of right now, let me just say, as of right now, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. The things that I do have planned for like Vlogmas or that I did have planned for Vlogmas, as I said, have kind of been set back. I did want to do the Elf on the Shelf, but the I was supposed to have purchased it a while back and I ended up going on there and it was like $34 or $26 or something like that. I don't remember exactly how much, but it was like $20, $20, $30. And I just didn't have it to get at the time of purchasing. So can't do that this year or I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to push that and do that for JR next year. Um, and then decorating and things like that will be later on versus when I wanted to do them um, right after we came back last weekend from the bay i wanted to do i actually wanted to decorate this weekend but a lot of the stuff is in my storage and is not the stuff that i want to use um, i do pick a color every year and i normally change the color so a lot of my colors are i mean a lot of my decor isn't universal and I find that now, looking back, I do want to purchase things that I can mix and match. Or not mix and match, reuse. So that, you know, through the years, I'll be able to just add to based off of, like, the color scheme that I pick. So this year, I am doing, like, this color, um, like a burgundy. But I do want to incorporate... Um, like blacks or grays because that is like the main color of my household so yeah i'm rambling now i'm going to get upstairs i'm going to make me a cup of tea and try and lift my spirits and i will call y'all monday if i don't call you on tomorrow good morning gang it is Sunday, December 3rd. The vlog is going up today. What time? I'm not sure. And I'm going to Best Buy to buy the charger today. Don't know what time, but it's getting done today. I just wanted to call y'all and tell y'all good morning. Um, not sure what part or what day or area or origin this lot this part is gonna go in but <clears throat> once I get the charger and everything everything will be able to be put together I'm just now getting off work so I just wanted to get on here and say good morning and I will call y'all back later on around like 11 30 so y'all better answer because I told y'all we doing this all right I'll talk to y'all later you ever hear me go to the movies and be like, no. Don't judge me, judge mama. What's up, gang? I am about to end this vlog. <clears throat> yeah, this McChicken is hot. I don't do spicy. The spicy McChicken is hot. It's two o'clock. We just came back, y'all. Why? Why? So I told y'all I knew I had charged my camera with a charger that was here. So I went to Best Buy to get a <clears throat> charger. And I'm looking. So he opens the side of my camera. Why did my brain turn on? I'm like, oh because I was using my Amazon charger, my my um, fire charger for my camera. I had to charge it the whole time. So I'm charging that now. And I bought a tripod. 
I got some free fries and a spicy McChicken that's burning my mouth. So I don't even know if I'm gonna finish it. But I'm in this vlog here. I'm about to post the first episode and the second episode, which is this one. And then we'll be on track for me to post on Tuesday. So that's about it. You wanna say hi to the people? He over here playing with his dog. But I appreciate you guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Turn on the notification bell so you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Let me see if Jay, I want to talk to y'all. I bought this. Because I want to buy the Sony one. To go with my camera for Christmas. So I just got this one because I don't have. I had the Dolby. Is that what it's called? No. Joby one. <clears throat> the one with like the balls. And it broke. Like one of the legs keep coming off. So I can't use that. Yeah. Okay. You say hi to the people? Hmm? You say hi to the people? Hello. Yeah, he's grown. I told y'all. All right, I'll see y'all Wednesday. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't